The S&P 500 is like the VIP section of the stock market, a prestigious club that everyone wants to be a part of. It's a club of 500 of the biggest, most successful companies in America, representing a diverse range of industries from technology to healthcare. When you talk about the S&P 500, you're talking about the heavy hitters, the giants that have a significant impact on the market. These are the companies that drive our economy, the ones that innovate and push the boundaries of what's possible. They make the products we use every day, the services we rely on, and the jobs that keep America running smoothly. Think Apple, Amazon, Microsoft. These are the titans of industry that call the S&P 500 homes, setting trends and leading the way. When these companies do well, the market tends to follow. Their success often signals broader economic health. It's like a giant game of follow the leader, and the S&P 500 is the leader everyone's watching, guiding the market's movements. So, when we hear predictions about where the S&P 500 is headed, we pay attention. Analysts and investors alike scrutinize every detail. Why? Because where the S&P 500 goes, the rest of the market often follows. It's a barometer for market sentiment. It's a bellwether for the health and direction of the US economy providing insights into the overall economic landscape and future trends. Right now, the financial world is buzzing with a bold prediction. The S&P 500 is on track to hit 6,000 by the end of 2024. That's a big deal. This target, if achieved, would mark a significant milestone in the history of the stock market, reflecting a period of robust economic growth and investor confidence. It means experts are forecasting a significant jump in the value of these major companies. This anticipated rise is not just a number. It represents the collective optimism of investors and analysts who believe in the strength and resilience of the market. A recent survey by Bloomberg Markets Live Pulse revealed that a majority of investors and analysts believe this milestone is within reach. The survey highlights a growing consensus that the market fundamentals are strong and the economic indicators are pointing towards sustained growth. They're betting on continued economic growth and strong corporate performance to propel the market higher. This optimism is fueled by positive earnings reports, increased consumer spending and technological advancements driving productivity. Of course, Predicting the market is never an exact science. There are countless variables at play, and even the most seasoned analysts can be caught off guard by sudden shifts. There are always surprises and unforeseen events that can throw a wrench into the gears. Geopolitical tensions, natural disasters, or unexpected economic downturns can all impact market performance. But the sentiment is clear. There's a growing sense of optimism that the S&P 500 is poised for further gains. Investors are hopeful and the market is reflecting that positive outlook. As we move forward, all eyes will be on the S&P 500, watching to see if it can reach this ambitious target. What's fueling this bullish outlook? One word, earnings. Earnings are the lifeblood of any corporation, the ultimate measure of a company's financial health and performance. Corporate earnings are simply the profits companies make from their businesses. When companies report strong earnings, it signals that they're healthy, growing, and generating value for their shareholders. This is a clear indicator that the company is on the right track, making smart decisions and effectively managing its resources. And guess what? Corporate America is on a roll. The recent surge in earnings reports has been nothing short of phenomenal, showcasing the strength and resilience of American businesses. Recent earnings reports from major companies have been nothing short of spectacular. 
These reports have exceeded expectations, driving stock prices higher and boosting investor confidence. From tech giants to consumer goods companies, businesses across the board are raking in record profits. This trend is not limited to one sector. It's a widespread phenomenon that underscores the overall health of the economy. This earnings season has been a testament to the resilience and adaptability of American businesses. Companies have shown remarkable ability to pivot and innovate in response to changing market conditions. Despite facing challenges like inflation and supply chain disruptions, they've managed to navigate the storm and come out stronger on the other side. This resilience is a testament to the strategic planning and execution capabilities of these companies, ensuring they continue to thrive even in uncertain times. Now, you might be thinking, what about the upcoming presidential election? Won't that impact the market? And you wouldn't be wrong to wonder. Elections always bring a degree of uncertainty. But here's the thing. When it comes to the stock market, corporate earnings tend to matter more than political events. While elections can create short-term volatility, they rarely derail long-term market trends. The same goes for the Federal Reserve's interest rate policies. While the Fed's decisions on interest rates can influence market sentiment, they're unlikely to overshadow the positive impact of strong corporate earnings. Section 5. The Fed's Balancing Act. Let's talk a little more about the Federal Reserve, also known as the Fed. The Fed is like the referee of the economy. They try to keep things fair and running smoothly. One of the ways they do that is by setting interest rates. Interest rates are like the price of money. When interest rates are low, it's cheaper to borrow money and that can boost the economy. But when prices rise too fast, we call that inflation. The Fed might raise interest rates. This can slow down the economy and hopefully get inflation under control. Section 6. Election Year Jitters, not so fast. Now, about that election. Yes, it's a big deal. But history shows us that the stock market doesn't always freak out during election years. Sometimes, the market even goes up. It all depends on who's running, what their plans are, and how confident investors feel about the future. Remember, companies are used to adapting to new rules and regulations. They're like chameleons of the business world. So, while an election might cause some short-term ups and downs, it's not likely to change the long-term trajectory of the market. Section 7. Staying Power Why Corporate Earnings Matter The bottom line is this. Corporate earnings are the engine that drives the stock market. When companies are making money, it gives investors confidence. Think of it like this. You wouldn't invest in a lemonade stand that's losing money every day, would you? Of course not. You want to invest in the lemonade stand that's selling out and making a profit. The same principle applies to the stock market. Investors are looking for companies that are profitable and growing. And right now, Corporate America is delivering on both fronts. Section 8. Riding the wave of the S&P 500. So, what does this all mean for you? Well, if the experts are right and the S&P 500 continues its upward climb, it could be a good time to consider investing in the stock market. Now, I'm not saying you should go out and throw all your money into stocks tomorrow. Investing is a personal decision, and you should always do your research and consult with a financial advisor before making any big moves. But if you're looking for long-term growth potential, the S&P 500 has historically been a solid performer. 
Section 9. The Bottom Line. A Bullish Outlook. The S&P 500's projected rise to 6,000 is a testament to the strength of the US economy and the resilience of corporate America. While challenges remain, the outlook for the stock market remains positive. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay focused on the long term, make informed decisions, and don't let short-term fluctuations shake you off course. As always, the most important investment you can make is in yourself. Educate yourself about personal finance, seek out trusted advisors, and take control of your financial future.